On September 2, 1901, a rather unassuming youth was born to a farming family in Halstead, Kansas. After 18 years in that small town, he traveled to the University of Kansas. He played basketball there under Forrest Fogg Allen and Dr. James Nasmith, the game's inventor. From there, he took the game as his own and shaped it into something more. Rupp coached high school basketball for seven years before coming to Kentucky. In his career, he became the coach with the most wins, winning four NCAA titles, an NIT title, and a gold medal. He built the massive fan base of Kentucky basketball while his teams revolutionized the standard playing style. Rupp was the first to use the fast break offense. This forced all other teams to adapt or be left in a dust. On October 29, 1929, the American stock market crashed. While America was plunged into the Great Depression, leaving 13 million people unemployed, Rupp secured the job as Kentucky's basketball coach. In addition to coaching in basketball, he had to help with assist in football and other sports at the university. The team played in the alumni gym, and he taught new plays such as the fast break, set offenses, and the guard around. By the end of the decade, the team was a formidable foe, but lost to larger schools' tournament time. By 1941, World War II was in full swing. The so-called Golden Decade started with military rejects who managed to win the SEC tournament. Rupp's ability to coach a freshman team to win furthered his reputation. Doing so twice made him a miracle worker. The Cats nabbed the 1946 NIT title, and Rupp was asked to develop a recreation program for the Army. This year also saw the first professional alumni when Marion Kluggish signed on to play at New York. The Cats won the NCAA tournament in 1948 and 1949. Rupp and his players also made up half of the winning 1948 U.S. Olympic basketball team. During these two decades, he had seen the creation of the Basketball Association of America, the NBA's predecessor, and UK's popularity surge. The fan base had grown so much that alumni gym couldn't hold all the fans, so the university started construction on Memorial Coliseum. Rupp could do no wrong. All that changed when the 52 point shaving scandal came to light. Players had been bribed to miss shots and throw games. This reflected badly on Rupp and the school, even though an internal investigation showed Rupp had known nothing. The 1950s were a time of fear abroad and panic at home. The school had much of the same problem. After the point shaving scandal, not many people would put much emphasis on the 1951 national title. Rupp insisted on practicing in the suspended 1952-53 season. The following year's team played a perfect regular season, but denied an invitation to tournament. The Cats were unable to not have another NCAA title until 1958, but won the SEC Conference 9 out of 18 times. This so-called lack of success was difficult for Rupp to take. Remember they gave you that big black Cadillac, big 75, with a chauffeur and about 80 yards long, and they, they gave me the cigarette lighter, and I want you to know I still have it. You still got the same, that's the same one they gave you there. That's right. Then many words written about how you and I didn't get along, the feud between us. If you ever did like me, I didn't know it. You'd always put nice to them. All the years we've been together here, and I've said that before, that you and I ever had an unkind word, uh, we ever said to each other. Well, thank you, As Rupp's health began to fail, he stopped coaching games altogether, the task falling on his assistant coach, Henry Lancaster. The team lost an unimaginable eight and a half games a season in the early 60s. Things seemed to be looking up after a second place in the NCAA in 1966, but Rupp coached his worst season in 1967, a 13-13. After pressure from the university, Rupp signed the first black player to Kentucky in 1969. That same year, Rupp entered the Hall of Fame, and the UK celebrated its 1,000th win. However, his mandatory retirement was not met with enthusiasm. He made sure to maintain an office down the hall near Joe B. Hall, his successor. In 41 years, Rupp changed the face of basketball. He created techniques still in use today, such as the fast break and the set offense. These tactics led to winning many a game. Rupp is currently the sixth winningest coach and the coach to have the most NBA draft picks with 44. The NBA adapted Rupp's tight man defense and fast style of play. 
He lived long enough to attend games in the stadium named for him, but not to see the next national title. Adolf Rupp died on December 10, 1977, and the flags of the UK were flown at half-staff in his honor.